Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we're going to talk about Warner Brothers Home Entertainment and their appearances at Comic-Con, but also a big announcement they made today, at least big for me because I'm a big George Romero fan. So uh, this is very exciting news for me. But before we get into the Night of the Animated Dead, uh, animated remake of the Night of the Living Dead film, which I'm so happy about, and we're going to talk a little bit about the cast and some of the announcements they made today. Um, but before we get into that, like I said, we're going to just mention uh, that there is a new trailer out for Mortal Kombat Legends. Legends Battle of the Realm. So I'll put a link to the Green Band and Red Band trailer down below, depending on which one you want to watch. Or I'd say watch them both. Why not? If you're able to, if, you're, if Red Band's not too, uh, you know, hardcore for you. Uh, but I'm excited for this because I kind of like Scorpion's Revenge. Uh, like I said, it started to lose me a little bit and then it pulled me back in at the end. And I was like, okay, I'm interested to see where this goes. And now that I've watched the trailer, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm interested. And they've got a lot of new characters in there. So I'm kind of pumped for that. So I'll put that information down below. And then I'll also have some new images that they shared with us today uh, that I got in the email. So I have those up on screen there. Um, and then we also have a Batman Long Halloween image that they shared with us too for 4th of July, which is cool. So happy 4th of July, everybody out there. Uh, hopefully this goes up before then, but you never know with me. I get behind on videos sometimes. Um, so this information I just thought was really cool. So Comic-Con at home, I will be a part of it this year. I, uh, you know, thanks to Andy, my friend last year, he got me put on the press list. And this year they asked me to come back on the press list because I covered some stories for them. And I was very excited that they asked me to come back. So, um, you know, I, they sent me the email. I filled out the form and I am back for Comic-Con. So they will, uh, I'll get from other outlets. I'll get stuff like I did last year for Vikings and some other shows that were out there. And, you know, obviously I work a job, so I, can, I can't cover every piece of news that comes in. But I'll try to gather the stuff that interests me or stuff that I think you guys might like as well, considering the stuff we cover on this channel. You know, I'll try to keep it within the realm of the stuff we talk about to a certain uh, a, a certain extent, but I like to go outside that bubble sometimes too. So we'll see, because that led me well with Tresse. You know, that's been really fun. So hopefully you all are enjoying those videos, and hopefully more of them went up by now too. Um, so yeah, Comic Con at home. I'm happy to be a part of it. I can't wait. I'm glad Warner Brother Home Entertainment has been you know keeping me on their list uh, throughout the year since last year. And that's the thing is like I want to keep covering this news, but. You know, I, I yeah, I got to do more, I guess, on my end to help improve the, you know, the um, you know, the reach of those videos. I want those videos to get a good amount of views because obviously these people who send us, you know, these things to, you know, help, uh, you know, let, you know, be like, hey, do you want to help us promote this? You know, are you interested in it? And if I say yes. I kind of want to deliver, you know, like Tresse has been great because those have, those videos have been doing really well. <laughs> They've gotten a couple thousand views, some of those videos um, each, you know, which is awesome. So thank you all for supporting that. And hopefully, you know, I'll have more videos like that that interest you that you'll watch to that level as well. Um, so Comic-Con at home, I will cover the Batman Long Halloween panel, which will be Friday, July 23rd at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that'll be 6 p.m. my time. So around the time I'm coming home from work, I can catch up on anything that I missed. I won't be able to watch it live, but I'll probably be able to watch it soon after. And I'll try to make a video on it for you guys. Uh, and same with uh, Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms will be on Saturday, July 24th at 4 p.m., which will be 7 p.m. my time i should hopefully be home to watch that live if i can depending if you know it depends if i get stuck at work longer or not um so yeah so those you know that's what we got announced for comic-con at home so there's all my comic-con at home news so now let's dive into night of the animated dead because this is so cool a uh, hollywood reporter got the exclusive on this and they you know post everything so i'm going to click over to their article and i'll put a link to that article down below so if you guys want to read it yourself please do but as a George Romero fan, I love the original Night of the Living Dead. It's one of my favorite movies in my top 10 by far. And I even like the 1990 remake that was done by uh, Tom Savini, um, who you know did a lot of the makeup effects for like Dawn of the Dead and worked with George Romero before. And he came in and directed the remake in 1990 with Tony Todd uh, playing Ben, which is awesome. And Ben is a, I love Ben as a character. Um, you know, that was uh, kind of my first window into like a, a black lead character in a movie and Night of the Living Dead was kind of the start of that. And then Ken Ferre picked up that mantle uh, and carried that into Dawn of the Dead, uh, which I also love. And those are two of my favorite movies. Uh, and I know some people are going to be like, dude, there's like all these like, you know, Godfather and Gun with the Wind and all these classics. I'm like, yeah, but I love Night of the Living Dead. I love Dawn of the Dead. They're two of my favorite movies ever. And they're why I like Resident Evil 1 and 2, the video games, because Resident Evil 1 takes place in a mansion and Night of the Living Dead takes place in a house out in the middle of nowhere in the woods. And then just like Resident Evil Mansion does. And then in Resident Evil 2, the video game takes place in the police department at first and then they go to a mall and Resident Evil 2 takes place in the police department and then they go to other locations like labs and stuff. So 
there's a, there's some similarities. There's enough to make me you know love them even more. Um, so Night of the Living Dead is being remade, the, the 1968 classic uh, made by George Romero, rest in peace. Uh, his wife um, is still trying to work on his last project that I guess he brainstormed and, and kind of did an outline and wrote before his passing in 2017. So she's still out there trying to get that final uh, dead film made um, in his name. She's just looking for the right director and the right creative team. So I hope she finds that because, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people and a lot of filmmakers that love Romero and his work. So I would love to see someone kind of carry out that vision of what he wanted for his conclusion to his Dead series. I think that would have been, I think it's called Twilight of the Living Dead. Um, so yeah, I hope that happens. But for this, Night of the Animated Dead, uh, this is an uh, animated adaptation. I think it will be rated R, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it'll be directed by Jason Axine, who uh, did the 2019 animated horror film To Your Last Death. Um, so it's also produced by Michael Luisi, uh, Ralph Portillo, uh, Robert Feldman, and Kevin Kasha. Executive producers are Richard Potter, Thomas DeFeo, and Jamie Elliott. And we got a great cast here. I'm so excited for this cast. We have Josh Duhamel, who is killing it right now as Harvey Dent and hopefully soon Two-Face in the Batman Long Halloween. So I'm so glad he's doing this. I love Josh Duhamel. Hey, I, I kind of got introduced to him through the Transformers movie, and I've been a big fan ever since. Um, and so we also have Dulé Hill from Psych, if anyone ever watched Psych. Uh, he's going to be playing Ben. I thought that's a great casting, actually. That's really, really good. Um, and then Catherine Isabel from uh, Freddy vs. Jason, that's what I know her from, is going to be playing Barbara. They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> I cannot... Oh, I'm so pumped for this. Like, when I got this news today, I was, like, in the thick of it at work, and I took a lunch break and got this email, and I was like... Holy cow, and I started freaking out. Like, I was just, I, I really was jumping out of my skin. Um, then we also have James Rodé Rodriguez, who's going to be playing Tom. Katie Sackoff, uh, who I'm also a big fan of, uh, from Battlestar Galactica, is going to be playing Judy. We'll also have Will Sasso uh, playing Sheriff McClelland, which is cool because I think Sheriff McClelland, he was in the original, um, but I don't believe he was in the remake. I think in the remake, uh, 1990, they changed it up a little bit. Um, so I don't, re at least I don't remember uh, someone you know, specifically being named Sheriff McClelland in the remake. Um, then we also have Jimmy Simpson as Johnny and Nancy Travis as Helen Cooper. Um, so that's who we got so far. This is all the information that came out so far. And uh, this will be a new animated film that will be coming out in the fall on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. So again, I'll put a link down to the article if you want to check that out. Um, but the original Night of the Living Dead, like I said, in 1968, um, just one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, really, really well done. Black and white, which you know is my favorite. And the thing about this movie is it didn't have to be in black and white. Uh, same with my other one of my other favorite movies, The Day the Earth Stood Still, came out in 1951 by Robert Weiss, directed by Robert Weiss, and that movie also didn't have to be in black and white. Um, I think they they kind of uh, they went with black and white, even though color was an option to them. They just didn't go for color. Um, so yeah, so the original black and white, uh, Dwayne Jones, who played Ben, I love that guy. He's so awesome. In fact, I think uh, I was writing a book for um, uh, Mono Myth. And I kind of based, uh, I wanted to base some of Dwayne's uh, characteristics as Ben into my main character um, in Monomyth when I was writing that. And some of it translated, but, you know, I had an artist I was working with, and we also wanted to get in a little bit of Aqualad in there because I liked Aqualad. So it came across more as Aqualad and a little less Ben from Night of the Living Dead. Uh, but Aqualad worked too, so it, it kind of worked out. But, uh, but yeah, Dwayne Jones playing Ben, um, Judith Odea who played uh, Barbara. Um, and then also uh, Carl Hardman as Harry Cooper. The Coopers are are neat because it's kind of, I think it's their house that they're in. Um, I, I, I guess in one version maybe it was, another version everyone just kind of ended up at this house. But, you know, Ben comes in with Barbara and they decide to start boarding up the windows, boarding up the doors. And this is something the Coopers didn't think about. They have a daughter who's been bit and infected and she's in the basement. And slowly throughout the course of the movie, you're just waiting for her to turn into a zombie because you know as a viewer that that's what's going to happen. But this movie kind of redefined zombies and that's what I love about George Romero and what he brought to this uh, world um, that he created and that what everyone copies from now is that uh, before this zombies were kind of like more like voodoo you know that was like in in Hollywood if they translated the term zombie it was normally like a voodoo thing or something that was from a different uh, you know um, part of the world that like came from somewhere else outside of America this was the first thing that kind of 
kind of brought it in um, to America and it was the, and they didn't explain really where the zombies came from originally they talk about a satellite crashing and that, that's on the news and so maybe it's like oh maybe something something from space came with that satellite uh, then there's the greatest quote ever in the world of quotes ever uh, which is Dawn of the Dead where Ken Foray and it's on the poster too where Ken Foray says uh, when there's no more room in hell the dead will walk the earth and I'm like that is the most terrifying thing. And he even says, he goes, yeah, my, uh, my father was like, a, and our uncle was involved in voodoo. And, uh, and they passed that on to us. They said when we were kids, one day the dead will, you know, they'll be running out of room in hell and the dead will just walk the earth. And I'm like, what a terrifying thought. So many of us are so horrible that we go to hell and we fill it up. And to the point where now we just, the ones who die now just stick around on earth as dead bodies. Um, so I always love that explanation, even though it's not the, the truest explanation, it's just some character's perspective. But I just think it's terrifying. <laughs> I just think that's absolutely terrifying. Um, and like I said, they did remake this movie in 1990. I think they've done another remake, like, uh, like in the early 2000s or late 90s that I don't I don't even mention. Um, but Tony Todd played Ben in the 1990 remake, and I love Tony Todd. He played Candyman, and uh, he's been in a lot of other movies. Final Destination. He's he's so good. He's such a great actor. And him as Ben when they cast him in 1990. I mean, he's so good as Ben. Uh, and uh, Patricia Tallman who played Barbara in the 1990 version, and then Tom Towles who played Harry Cooper. He was a good Harry Cooper too because he was a real d bag. Like you really just want to punch the living hell out of Harry Cooper uh, because he just he doesn't like that this this black guy has come into his house and is barking orders, even though Ben is just trying to save everyone. He's like, hey, look, I just want to board up the windows. I want us to outlast this, you know, like get through the night and we can come up with a plan. And Harry's just not having it. Harry wants to be the, the you know alpha male in the, the place. And Ben's not even there to be the alpha male. He's just like, hey, let's start brainstorming. What do we do? And someone's like, maybe we got, you know, we got some nails and hammers and we got some extra wood. What if we just, because the house was like being, uh, they were redoing the porch or something. He's like, all right, let's take that wood. And, you know, okay, oh, wow, out in the barn, there's more wood. Okay, so we got to get out there before, because as zombies are like, more and more zombies are coming, they have less time to get out into the barn to get more wood. So there's just so many cool things, so many great scenes uh, from this movie and so many iconic moments and characters. And I'm so happy that they're remaking it in animated form because I really want to see what they do. Like there's, you know, less limits. I won't say there's no limits because in animation you still have to budget things. You still have to, you know, there's still certain things you can and can't do. There is a bubble. I know a lot of people go, it's animation. You can do whatever you want. Not really. I mean, you, you, you can do almost anything you can think of, but you still have to figure it out and budget it and all this stuff. So, and, and work it out, you know, and, and, and execute it. So it, it is, it can be tough. But uh, the fact that they're calling this Night of the Animated Dead is awesome. Hopefully this is a success and we can do Dawn of the Animated Dead and Day of the Animated Dead. That would be so awesome and land and all that stuff. I would love it. I would love to see all these things animated, but if, especially this one that we're going to get it. I would love to see Dawn of the Dead animated as well because that's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, anyway, so let me know what you think. I'm obviously jumping over the moon for this news. I'm very excited about it and I'm excited to cover anything else that comes out between now and Comic-Con for this and anything that does come out at Comic-Con. Um, I will be you know, paying attention to Warner Brothers Home Entertainment and anything that they send me else after this and we will definitely cover it here on the show. So hopefully you guys are liking these and if you do, make sure you watch future videos that I do. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on those like them subscribe you know if you're not subscribed already and uh, and also comment you know let me know what you think of these i love engaging with people i love hearing what people's perspectives are are you a night of living dead fan are you not would this be your first you know entry into that universe that would be so wild to meet some of you who have never seen any of the romero movies and watch this movie first and then go into the romero stuff I, I, I can't even fathom it, but I think that would be awesome to talk to some of you. So let me know down below, and we'll continue the conversation, as always, down there. Thank you, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, for sending this stuff to me. You sent it to the right guy, because I'm obviously a Mortal Kombat fan, and I'm a Batman fan, and I'm a Night of the Living Dead and George Romero fan. So this was like just the ultimate uh, tri trinity and trifecta of information. I'm so happy right now. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you all in the future. Peace.